Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe Dollar General exclusive Storm Shadow figure. Here he is in the packaging. As you can see, he's a blister carded figure um, with all of his accessories visible through the bubble. He is um, a Wave 1 version of the Storm Shadow. As I explained in the uh, Snake Eyes video, um, there were six figures available through Dollar General. Um, all six characters were in Wave 2 as well with repainted color schemes. Um, this is a Wave 1 as denoted on the card. The packaging is the same for Wave 1 and Wave 2, but the color of the figures themselves are different. Um, this is the only version of Storm Shadow I have, however, so this is the one we're going to have a review of today. Um, let's open him up, see how cool he is. And there we are. Drop that out of there. All right. First and foremost, he has his figure stand, his base, which has the Reyes Cobra symbol there, two foot pegs, but there is no name printed there. So Normally when we get this figure stand in, in past releases, they would have the character's name printed on the front. However, the Dollar General line did not do that. On the back, just 2007 Hasbro. Always happy to see the figure bases. Here he is, here is his uh, bow. Which, it's held that way. Nah, it's this way. The handle threw me off there for a second. Okay. It's a compound bow. No string, but pretty cool. No string, no painted detail, but still pretty cool. Figure also has a sword, which was rubber banded to his hand. Let's get that rubber band off there. Black blade. And there does not appear to be any painted detail on the handle. Still pretty cool. And now for the figure himself. This is a clear homage to the, uh, the Ninja Force Storm Shadow, I believe. He's got the cool hands, though, from the... Uh, Ultimate Storm Shadow and the Renegade Storm Shadow. So that's a definite plus. The hood looks pretty good on him too. Very cool. All right, so his, his hood is removable if you don't like it, um, but you can do a full 360 of the head without removing it, which is nice. Um, looks like the head will look up a little bit, down a little bit, tilt from side to side, a little bit to get some expression out of them. Arms can flatten out. Do a full 360. Go up quite a ways. Arms can flatten out. Elbows flatten out, I mean, excuse me. Bend about 90 degrees. Rotate 360. Wrists rotate 360 degrees. These are also hinged. So this side can go up and down, and the other side can go in and out. Very cool, always happy to see that wrist hinge on my Joe's. Um, diaphragm joint, gets a good range of motion there. Legs can go up about that high, back about that far, can do the splits about like that. Double jointed knees, and get his knit leg back about that far. Ankles, full 360 degree rotation. Point his toes all the way down and up a decent amount. All in all, very cool figure. I'm very happy with this guy.
Holds his weapons nicely too. Very cool. They nailed the paint scheme on them too. I really like the black and white. Very nice. All right, so here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure so you can get the size comparison there. He's clearly taller than the original Snake Eyes. Um, clearly taller than the vintage collection Luke Skywalker. Um, here he is next to a Boss Fight Studio Blank which is roughly about the same size for him. A Marvel Universe Captain America. And lastly, a Master Chief. 118th scale. Great figure. I uh, do highly recommend him if you're able to find one at a decent price. Um, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel where I review a whole bunch of other 118th scale figures, vehicles, and accessories. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.